Hi, John Dick here once again to remind you to stack paper and keep your pimp hands strong. In this video development blog, I'm going to go deep inside your body to explain one of the major features in SCUM, metabolism. SCUM features the most advanced human body simulation not only in games, but applications in general. For those of you who are wondering what the hell metabolism is all about, picture yourself as a big fleshy donut. You have two holes, one up and one down, and the squishy part in the middle, that's you. Digested stuff will be inside you without being a part of you. With a little help from bacteria, your body uses chemical processes to give you energy and keep you alive. That's what metabolism is all about. By evolution, we were built to survive. The whole point of survival is not scavenging, it's not killing other players on site either. It's about the struggle within our bodies, trying to keep us alive as long as possible. Because these kinds of things are quite complicated, we created several boring science videos where we try to explain how metabolism works in scum. This is the first one, ladies and gentlemen. Say hi to the BCU Body Control Unit. BCU is a small implant on the back of your character's head. Data it provides will help you to track your character's progress during the game. If you're interested to learn more about body control units or BCUs, you can check out our website. If you remove it, all of its advantages will be lost. So please, don't take a pocket knife and just pick it off, like a bad scab. Okay, you've heard about intensive care units that can be found in hospitals. They can be found in scum as well. Each BCU is programmed to monitor your character's vital signs. The first part is the heart rate. It consists of P waves, QRS complexes, and uh, T waves. The first two represent the heart polarization phase. P is atrial contraction, followed by contraction and relaxation of the ventricles. For those of you who didn't understand a damn thing I just said, don't worry about it. It's not that important. I didn't understand it either. As long as it's not a straight line, you're good. Below the pulse is the blood pressure line. Systolic pressure is the pressure of blood coming out of the heart, while diastolic is the pressure of the blood filling the heart. The biggest influence on your blood pressure is the constitution attribute along with stamina and some external factors like taking medications or finding out that your mother-in-law is coming to stay for the weekend. Oxygen saturation, or SATs, measures the percentage of hemoglobin binding sites in the bloodstream occupied by oxygen. In short, keep breathing. Scientific researchers have confirmed that you live longer if you keep breathing. Respiratory rate is a sinus breathing curve. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down like the plunger in my toilet after eating too much curry. Got it? Temperature deviation shows a change in the body temperature compared with the normal body temperature. If you've managed to understand everything I just said, congratulations, you're a doctor. Below the BCU ICU monitor, you can see how attributes and skills change with time. The yellow numbers on the right represent the amount of experience you need to reach the next skill level, and the white values represent current experience points. A small pie chart before the skill name shows the current skill level. BCU body monitor covers the basic character stuff like age, weight, body temperature, and everything else. All of them are fully unique to your character and they'll change with time. For example, if somebody knocks your teeth out, you won't just have problems whistling, you might have problems with food intake, resulting in gradual starvation with both strength and constitution attributes suffering because of that. Good news is that brushing your teeth will take a lot less time. The BCU performance monitor shows general performance of your character. Here you can see everything regarding how fast your character can move, how much gear he can carry, and many other stats. The gear weight and weight load threshold, or WLT, are shown below on the left. WLT is a dynamic value calculated from the character's strength attribute, and it defines the point where excessive load starts to wear out your body faster. It follows the strength attribute. If strength drops, it'll drop also. On the left, you can see how stamina is influenced by gear weight and actions your character does. MSR is a maximum stamina reduction value. It determines the percentage of reduction of the maximum stamina value due to external influences. Performance stats section shows if a character's performance has been reduced in any way. But you can also see bonuses and gains that depend on attribute levels or consumed substances like drugs or beer or being distracted because you have to find a bathroom after eating too much curry. Finally, the skill modifiers determine various values depending on the attributes and skill levels. 100% usually means that parameters are fully operational, but values can fluctuate up or down depending on the external factors. That being said, we'll conclude the first part of our metabolism development video blog. Stay tuned for the boring follow-up about how food and digestion is handled in scum. 
Maybe we'll talk about poop. I don't know. I haven't seen the script yet. Thank you for watching, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Scum Steam page, and our development blog at www.scumgame.com. This is Dr. John Dick signing out, reminding you, you are what you eat, and I'm not really a doctor. See you next time.